Another very hot topic is vitamin D. And, you know, there have been two assumptions about vitamin D for years that we found out are not true. So one assumption is that most Americans have enough vitamin D because we fortify our foods. That's very clearly not true. Multiple studies show that many American adults, 50% or more, have uh, low vitamin D levels. Well, name a food for me that would include vitamin D. Vitamin That's a challenge. That may be part of the issue. Okay. So uh, salmon, uh, fatty fish, typically mm -hmm. has the highest amounts of vitamin D. Okay. But we fortify our foods at a level that's probably too low to account for the low levels that people have at this point. So vitamin D, one assumption was that we all, we thought most people had adequate levels. And then the other is we thought vitamin D just helped regulate bone metabolism. Mm -hmm. And it's been shown very clearly vitamin D has effects in many different tissues in the body, including helping regulate the immune system. So the concern is if people with MS have low vitamin D, then that could lead to further dysfunction of the immune system. It could possibly lead to worsening of the disease.